And so, in the season of Advent, we wait. We wait for the Lord's coming. We wait for God to continue to seek out the lost. You know what's happening. We wait for those signs, signs that we can then share, right? We wait and prepare by knowing these things, by learning about the God who does these things, by being able to share them with others, by participating in God's seeking out action. We wait. As generations of the church have before. As proof, I turn to 2 Peter chapter 3. I think we've done 2 Peter two weeks in a row. I mean, wow. Oh, no, that was 2 Timothy. Just kidding. Okay, never mind. Anyway, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3. The promise of the Lord's coming. Peter's writing because people back then are going, well, how long are we going to wait? What are we waiting for? Why should we wait? How do we wait? Right? The same questions that we ask and we face every Advent. It's the reason we have Advent every year, by the way. Um, we're in this in-between time where Christ has come on the cross and has risen, and this end. We're in this in-between time. This is a fancy theological statement, right? Well, how do we wait? Right? Keep awake. How do we keep awake? When do, do we actually know this is going to happen? And when? Well, when? Jesus tells us we won't. I, I turn to specifically. So Peter goes in. Okay, we won't know. The Savior's spoken. It's going to happen. Got to keep waiting. How we do in heaven? Okay. But let's... Eight, chapter, er, chapter 8. Verse 8 in chapter uh, 3. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved. That the Lord one day... With the Lord, one day is like a thousand years. And a thousand years are like one day. Yay, paradox. God dwells in paradox. Another theological statement. We're on fire. The Lord is not slow about his promise. And some think of slowness, but is patient with you. Not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. The day of the Lord will come like a thief. And the heavens will pass away with a lot of noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire. And the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. See, Peter takes the long view. Paul, he almost writes, like he thinks it's going to happen tomorrow. Peter's kind of saying, buckle up, it's going to be a while. The longer God waits, the more opportunity there is for the church to grow. The longer God waits, the more opportunity there is for repentance, for grace, for all that goodness, that, that seeking out action. Peter's basically saying, God's not done seeking out the lost. You're not it. There's plenty more to go. Lives to be lived. This gift of life to be experienced. God, why would God cut that short now? And so, yeah, it, it continues on. We live in, in that promise and in the righteousness of God. We do what we can as we wait. We help in seeking out the lost. Because we know God's busy. God's busy seeking out the lost. We've heard it again in Scripture. Peter writes, we've heard it. We've seen it. We've experienced it ourselves. We, too, have been brought to this place in Christ. Right? And, and so our job is to, to help with this action. And yeah, we don't know what it's going to be. It, according to Peter, it probably won't be our lifetime. The importance of passing on the faith. Interesting. Not all New Testament writers jump to that, but Peter was right. Um... You know, this, and I think you'll still be right, by the way. I, this is, I think it's a good imperative to show. God is at work. God is seeking out the lost. Now, we can we have, two, we have a choice. We can either um, complain that God's taking too long, and let's get to heaven. Or, we can understand this is a process that is gradual, because it, we want to, we because of goodness, not because God's being a pain in the butt. It's because God is trying to reach as many people as possible before that day. God is trying to grow that kingdom as much as possible. God wants more people to experience goodness in their life. And that's consistent with everything we've read. God offers deliverance. God offers grace, generosity. God wants us to live that way, to share with others, so we can get more and more and more, so it can grow, so the world can be a better place. Yeah, sure, God's going to set things all right one day. That will happen. But in the meantime, we have the ability to live in that waiting in between of working towards that day. 
We get to experience that gift, and we get to have the opportunity to bring others into that gift with us. Peter's right. All the scriptures we talk about. I mean, come on. All the scriptures we talk about. This week's timeless. But they all center on that same thing. God is seeking out the lost. And God will continue to do that. God has done that before our lifetime. God will continue that beyond our lifetime. And ultimately, yes, God will bring all to the throne. But in the meantime, God is working and calls us, invites us to uh, be part of that seeking out the lost as well. God bless you. I'll see you on Sunday.